Located along the Des Moines River, just south of Fort Dodge in Webster County, a 63 and a half acre former state park holds natural and historic treasures. Come along with Notes on Iowa as we explore Woodman's Hollow State Preserve. Centered around a Pennsylvanian period, Flores Formation sandstone ridge cut by a small spring-fed creek, Woodman's Hollow harkens back to the distant past of Iowa. Heavily forested with a natural canopy consisting of hardwood trees, Dendrochronological work at the site dated some trees in the canopy in excess of 300 years of age. Woodman's Hollow also hosts one of Iowa's most unique collections of ferns and other plants. Ostrich fern, spleenwort, woodasia, bladder fern, rockbreak fern, maidenhair, bulbit fern, and other species flank the canyon walls and surrounding terrain. Scientists working at the site over the past 100 years have recorded 354 different native vascular plant species, as well as 142 different species of mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Archaeological evidence, most notably two woodland period stone shelters, display clear evidence of indigenous occupation of the site during the era prior to American arrival in Iowa. The discovery of human remains during 1892 also further documented human inhabitation at the site. During the initial phase of land acquisition for Iowa State Park system during the 1920s, officials negotiated for the tract of land containing Woodman's Hollow during 1920, making the site one of Iowa's first obtained. Purchased from A.S. Woodman, initial development at the site focused on turning the lands into a state park. However, shortly after the purchase, Central State Electric Company sought approval to dam the Des Moines River just downstream from Woodman's Hollow. The proposed dam would create a reservoir and potentially flood the canyon. A fierce battle ensued, pitting the Iowa State Board of Conservation and local residents against the power company. The Iowa Conservation Commission officially declared Woodman's Hollow to quote, a reserve for the full protection of plant and animal life therein, and ultimately pushed the proposed dam further upstream toward Fort Dodge. The New Deal saw the only significant amenity development in Woodman's Hollow's history. With federal funds, Works Progress Administration labor allowed for the construction of stone latrines and some trail work. With the nearby Dolliver Memorial State Park undergoing significant development to provide camp camping and other recreational opportunities, Woodman's Hollow remained largely undeveloped by comparison. Officially dedicated as Iowa's first scientific and biological state preserve on August 12, 1970, Woodman's Hollow largely reverted to a natural state. Closure of the road eliminated easy access and limited visitors to hiking into the preserve from a small parking area. Ferns and other plants overgrew the stone latrines and the trails faded into the forest, leaving visitors to try and discern the best course to take while navigating the rough terrain. Today, Woodman's Hollow State Preserve offers visitors a variety of opportunities to enjoy the outdoors in northwestern Iowa. Set aside for the biological preservation of various plant and animal life present at the site, visitors must exercise caution to not disturb or negatively impact the ecology of Woodman's Hollow. Limited trails offer rugged access for visitors hoping to see Iowa at its wildest. Next time you find yourself looking to get out and enjoy Iowa's public lands, consider a stop at Woodman's Hollow State Preserve, a truly stunning representation of Iowa's natural beauty and a testament to the necessity of maintaining opportunities to get outdoors for all Iowans. Woodman's Hollow State Preserve shines a must visit for all people hoping to see Iowa slowly. Thanks for coming along with Notes on Iowa to explore Woodman Hollow State Preserve. Make sure to subscribe to the Notes on Iowa website, subscribe on YouTube, follow on social media, and tune in each Sunday to explore the history of Iowa State parks, preserves, and other public lands. I hope I'll see you out there. There's a lot of good history around Iowa, a lot of people don't even know about.